Hi there, and let's get to it. One of the primary reasons why you might not be able to see your footage in the library of the media page in DaVinci Resolve is because it's in a format or a codec that's not supported. File formats, or containers, are different from codecs, and you might find that you have footage in a supported format that is still not being read by DaVinci. So in my case, I have AVI files, which should logically be supported by DaVinci Resolve, but they're not encoded in any of these formats because the way these were generated was using a screen recording software called Camp Studio, which by the way, I love, but unfortunately is not supported by any of my NLE programs. So what's the solution to having incompatible media? Uh, when it comes to any kind of video software, what you need to do is to transcode your video data into a format that your software can read. Uh, this is actually pretty standard practice during dailies workflows. Anybody who's edited in Avid Media Composer is probably used to the workflow of converting everything into DNxHD before they begin working. So it's nothing new. And the only thing you need is a compressor or a transcoding program of some sort. I've got Media Encoder as part of my Adobe suite, but unfortunately it does not support some of the more exotic file types that I get. So in that case, what I use is another third-party program called Mavavi. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but this is another free program. I should warn you though that this does come as a trial version and it contains watermarks until it is purchased, but I had no regrets whatsoever. I think this is a brilliant software and I have yet to feed it anything that it hasn't been able to read. In fact, I've even sent it corrupted footage and it still managed to output a working video file for me. But if you'd prefer a completely free video compressor, there's nothing stopping you from looking around for one online and trying your luck there. Once I launch the video converter, I only have to do a couple of things. Click on Add Video to introduce the clip that you'd like to transcode, and at the bottom, indicate a format that is DaVinci Resolve friendly. So I've got it set to AVI, and I can look inside of my settings and indicate the codec. H.264 is a very friendly codec, but it might not be ideal for editing film footage because of the amount of temporal and spatial compression that it applies. So you might want to choose one of the other codecs or even switch to a different file type altogether. In my case, I've just got some screen recordings, so it really doesn't matter if the quality is just a touch below perfect. Furthermore, I can adjust my frame size. I can even indicate my bitrate. So I can choose a variable bitrate and ensure that my encoding passes twice. And I could maybe opt for a slower speed to ensure a higher quality of my video. I could then choose to save this as a preset and use this for all future screen recordings. I then choose a destination for my new video file and click on convert to start the process. It will usually take a few minutes, so I do these in batches and go have a break. Once that process is over, I can then access my converted folder and this time the video files show up. So I can double click these and preview them in my viewer and I can drag and drop them into my media pool just like any other media type. All right, problem solved. If you're still having problems at the end of all that and can't get your media into DaVinci Resolve, leave a comment under the video and either I or some other very knowledgeable person will get back to you and try to help you out. Don't give up on DaVinci Resolve. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.